Good evening. Well, it's known as the crown jewel of San Diego, and I'm here along Park Boulevard. As you see, the eucalyptus tree, the fallen tree from early this morning. Now, the city of San Diego just wrapped up with a press conference reporting that there is a total of 35 fallen trees within the park. They're also talking about other parks that had closed today. Choyas Lake near Webster and also Presidio Park in Old Town. But wow, we were out here around noon today. It was so windy and visitors were so surprised. Take a look. First, they said that they're not going to make us leave, um, but the park is having problems with the wind and the trees. And then they made a major announcement that the park is closing and everybody needs to get ready to head out. They gave us passes to come back, so that's okay. The Cornellis leaving the Natural History Museum. Started beautiful. It's still kind of nice. I see the winds picking up, but now we got closed up. High winds and fallen trees prompt the city of San Diego and San Diego PD to close Balboa Park's museums, Prado restaurant, cafes, and vehicle access early Thursday afternoon. The historic site and national landmark that attracts people from all over. I think you're safer inside than outside. <laughs> So we were sort of surprised. We noticed it first thing we came from Chula and then when we got dropped off here, the winds were going crazy, the palm trees were swaying. So we were like, whoa, where'd this come from? We didn't see it coming. City crews working to remove branches, blocking streets and walkways. Workers say there's so much moisture in the eucalyptus trees. You can see it. The park department asking visitors to leave the park for public safety, using caution and to be aware of surrounding areas. Employees asked to leave as well. Just going to disperse people to other areas where trees are going to fall down. So, I mean, think about it. This is not a hurricane. <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're from Cleveland, Ohio, and sort of like, yeah, the weather's a lot worse there than here now. So, you know, yeah, it's a beautiful day here. So. I love San Diego. Some staying a little longer, strolling the park and enjoying the tranquility. And I'm standing right in front of one of 35 fallen trees here at Balboa Park. And according to the city of San Diego, they say that Balboa Park should be reopening tomorrow due to the conditions. We'll have more coming up at five. Logan. Uh, Teresa, it sounded like that one couple was mentioning that they had to leave the museum. They might get a pass. What are they telling people who maybe bought their tickets early and either couldn't go today? Um, will they be able to go another time? Yeah, I'm still working to get that information. A lot of visitors were telling me when they were asked to leave the museums that they were given some passes, but many of the visitors that we were speaking to today, they have an Explore Pass, which is a membership. And so that's all we know right now as far as people being reimbursed for tickets, because a lot of people from all over the world visit Balboa Park, and they just were not expecting to come out here today with the high winds and being asked to leave. Yeah, Francella certainly warned us uh, last night about the high winds, but I don't know if anybody could have predicted uh, 35 trees, and especially that one falling on that woman, and we know uh, she is, uh, is going to be okay, they're saying. All right, Teresa Sardina for us. Thanks, Teresa.